the conditions of the deal. It was agreed between Memphis and Juventus, but Rabio deal to Man United collapsed it. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here. We are entering into the final four, five days of the transfer window. It's gonna be uh, a crazy end of the window. And many questions from you on Memphis Depay, on Frankie De Jong, on Pierre Obama Young, on Anthony, of course. So I'm here to answer many of your questions. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, I want to start with Memphis Depay because we have many, many messages on, on him, on his situation. As I told you, almost 10 days ago, Memphis Depay would be ready to terminate his contract with Barcelona in case he finds a top club that suits his ambitions. Uh, and so he was really close to joining Juventus, but then Juventus called the deal off because they didn't sell Adrian Rabiot. So it was not Memphis Depay who, who changed the conditions of the deal. It was agreed between Memphis and Juventus, but Rabiot deal to Man United collapsed it. And so Juventus decided to invest a lower budget on the striker, Arkadius Milik, and the biggest bar uh, budget on Leandro Paredes as new midfielder. This has been the change. And so what's going on now for Memphis? Real Sociedad, I'm told there is nothing going on between Memphis and Real Sociedad. Manchester United, there have been some contacts between Memphis and May United to explore the situation. May United um, are keeping an eye on the situation of Memphis in case they will have some problems on other deals and keeping an eye on Cristiano Ronaldo till the end of the market, but at the moment is not something uh, close to being completed. But we are at the end of the market, so May United uh, have many names in the list. Memphis is one of them, but there is still no direct negotiation. We will see what happens with Memphis Depay and with Pierre Aubameyang, because it's true that also Manchester United asked about the information of Aubameyang, uh, but about the situation of Aubameyang, but it's also true that Pierre Aubameyang has an agreement on personal terms with Chelsea ready since long time. He wants to play Champions League football, so his priority till now has always been Chelsea. Let's see if Chelsea will be able to reach an agreement with Barcelona, because Chelsea are insisting to include Marcos Alonso in the deal, but Barca want Marcos Alonso to be discussed in a separated negotiation. So this is why at the moment there is no agreement yet between Chelsea and Barcelona, May United asking about the situation, but as I mentioned, the priority for May United is still Anthony, 90 million euros bid turned down on Friday afternoon by Ajax, but May United are still there, May United want to try, May United know that the player only wants to join them, and so Keep an eye on Anthony till the end, because Ajax are making it difficult. Uh, we have to respect Ajax's position. They want to keep Anthony. The manager, Schroeder, wants to keep Anthony, especially. But it's also true that May United are still there, are still in conversations. And so the Anthony situation, after 90 million euros bid turned down, is still absolutely under discussion and open. So... Let's see what's next on that point. Many of you guys asking me about new Liverpool midfielder for Frankie de Jong, this links. Guys, at the moment, from what I'm told, there are no negotiations between Barcelona and Liverpool for Frankie. Then we are in the final days of the window, so uh, you are not going to wait a long time to understand what happens with, uh, with Liverpool midfielder, with de Jong in this case. But I'm told there are no direct contacts between Liverpool and Barca as of now. And also the salary of Frankie de Jong is a huge one. So it's not easy to sign. Frankie de Jong with the different salary structure that they have at Liverpool. So let's see, but at the moment, from what I'm told, uh, there are no direct conversations with Barcelona. We will see next week what happens with Frankie. Also because, guys, Frankie de Jong, always the same point. Barcelona, uh, Chelsea, May United, Liverpool, many questions. Frankie still wants to stay at Barca. So this is why, at the moment, it's not easy. But let's keep the situation open in case, only in case, Frankie changes his mind next week. And let me say that my feeling is that Chelsea are the club pushing really for Frankie de Jong till the end, but at the moment, as I mentioned, Frankie still on the same position. So still quite at the moment for Liverpool. And I wanted to mention another name, guys, another important name, that is Marco Asensio, because Carlo Ancelotti confirmed a few days ago that um, there is a possibility for Asensio to leave, that Asensio is looking for options around. Let's see what happens. But from what I'm told, his agent is offering Marco Asensio to Premier League clubs. So keep an eye on Asensio, because for Italian clubs at the moment is not easy. It was an option for AC Milan, but now it's not easy. For Premier League clubs, it's something that has been discussed with his agents, and so let's keep an eye on Marco Asensio till the end of the market. Otherwise, as Carlo Ancelotti said, he will be an important player for Real Madrid. 
And so guys, I wait for your opinions. Where do you see Marco Asensio? What do you think of Frankie de Jong? We're in the final days of the window to understand this situation. Obama, Young, Depay, many things going on. I wait for your opinion as always, of course, also on Anthony. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video, turn on the notification bell, guys. Many videos are coming and see you soon with Fabrizio.